You want to know why most good men remain single, myself included? It's because all of us have had times in our life where we're doing perfectly fine on our own. We're financially set. We're living life on our own. We don't need anybody. But they happen to come into our life, make us feel like maybe this is the one time that she's going to make me feel special. Say things like, you're a catch. You're my dream, man. You're so this. You're so that. I can't believe I found you. I can't believe I'm so lucky to have you in my life. Only to do what? To push him out of your life and act like strangers. The same thing you were before you met. So why even bother me? Why even bother that man? Why? Good men, like myself, it's not that we can't get a woman. It's because every time we try, we're shown exactly why we're better off alone. And instead, these women want to go after the guy that doesn't want them. And then they complain about why they're hurting and why he hurts them. A guy either wants you or he doesn't. There's no middle ground. You're not going to change a man's mind. You're not going to. All you're doing is wasting your time. But if you want to do that, that's on you. In the meantime, if you have a good man in your life, don't let him go or you might regret it for the rest of your life. Don't believe me? Fine. That's on you. Men understand what marriage was meant to be, not just a one-day event. It's not about fancy wedding dresses or changing the rules. Knowing this in a culture that often treats marriage casually has made many men indifferent to the idea of getting married. One reason is that whenever the topic comes up, people avoid discussing it seriously. To be honest, men aren't against commitment, but it seems like there aren't many respectful and understanding women around. Some women don't want to follow the natural order of life, and there are men who let them dominate. This creates resentment. The media doesn't help. It just makes things worse. When it comes to the justice system in divorce, it's risky to leave your life in the hands of a single person. Judges should consider the impact on children and the man and be more humane before making decisions. Why should I or anyone be with someone who sees me as just a transaction? She won't contribute to household chores or have children, yet expects me to cover most, if not all, living costs. She nags and pressures me into doing what she thinks I owe her. Plus, there's a high chance she might divorce me and cost even more. No thanks. Women aged 18 to mid 30 SS might think they have plenty of time to find a partner, but the reality is there are many possibilities and finding the right one takes time. Making rush decisions can lead to mistakes. The decrease in marriage also means fewer births. In the USA, each woman now has about 1.67 children, but you need 2.1 births to maintain the population. Two reasons explain the decline in marriage. Marriage rates are decreasing, but men's happiness is increasing. The issue is, what we have now are not really marriages. Ever since the government got involved, they are more like civil unions, not actual marriages. Real marriages are religious institutions and have nothing to do with the government. A solution is for the government to stay out of marriages. Let people choose between a religious marriage without government involvement or a civil union at a courthouse. Replace state marriage certificates with civil union certificates. Feminism, in enabling women to act entitled without consequences, has inadvertently done men a favor. Marriage and kids aren't obligatory. It's a personal choice. If it's not for you, don't do it. Some people find fulfillment in that, and that's okay. Divorce laws need reform, and prenuptial agreements should be more common for the benefit of both men and women. Creating a prenup while the couple is on good terms is logical. However, women sometimes perceive it as a lack of trust, making it emotional. It's disheartening when children become pawns in divorce battles. Restricting access to an ex because of personal issues is unfair to the kids. Some women jeopardize relationships due to boredom, fleeting emotions, or seeking attention when partners are busy. Women interested in having children could consider using an egg bank or adopting. Forming networks with other women to collectively raise children is another approach. Nowadays, men often avoid the risk of unplanned pregnancies by seeking professional services or abstaining from physical relations. With a 60% drop in marriage rates, men's quality of life has risen by 60%. Women tend to marry the safe bet, like option two or three, the nice guy. The challenge lies more in the legal aspects of marriage contracts than in the institution itself which technically 
demands effort and compatibility. Marriage not only poses risks for men, but also takes a toll on mental health, a significant concern. Personally, I felt mentally exhausted during my marriage, even contemplating dark thoughts. Now, without those feelings, life is much better. No depression, aggravation, or frustration from dealing with a difficult situation. Even though things started well, it's evident that people can change, and not always for the better. What sensible man would willingly take on 100% risk with 0% rewards in a marriage where the wife is incentivized to divorce for financial gain? Marriage, along with dating, increasingly appears like a losing proposition for men, prompting more to walk away from both. The traditional practice of courting, having a relationship and marrying seems outdated and illogical. It's an inherited practice that needs replacing with a model that aligns with today's reality. Marital intimacy becomes unsatisfying, especially when dealing with arguments or when one has work commitments immediately afterward. Fellas, don't marry solely for bedtime intimacy. The reality is, she might disappoint you in various ways because, to her, marriage is a business. It's likely she's attracted to someone else from work, not you. Save yourself money and frustration. Consider going your own way. While there might be a few exceptions, finding genuinely committed women is becoming rarer. As women now earn more than before, it's rare for them to marry men with lower incomes. The higher a woman's income, the smaller her dating pool becomes, making her more likely to stay single. Unmarried men often witness their parents' divorces and observe the perceived injustice in family courts, contributing to their reluctance to get married. Out of 100 marriages, approximately 60 end in divorce within 15 years, 30 are trapped in unhappy unions, and only 10 offer partners a better life than being single. The decline in marriage rates seems linked to the feminist movement and its various consequences. It's intriguing how many women desire a traditional man, but don't embrace being a traditional woman themselves. Women with values contrary to traditional roles may not be suitable for marriage. While some seek husbands to work for them, they may not reciprocate. With legal changes, adultery and fornication don't necessitate marriage for having children. Even in relationships, men can face marriage-like expectations and consequences. For men, careful consideration, including a thorough prenup, is crucial before contemplating marriage. Some men find peace and security by avoiding interactions with women altogether. The liberation of men spurred by the notion that women don't need them, has led to a noticeable trend. My single male friends appear much happier than their married counterparts. Interestingly, older single women I know seem bitter and express discontent on social media. A significant downside emerges as these women age and require medical procedures. They lack the support of a husband. This absence of spousal care often results in extended stays in rehab hospitals rather than recovering at home affecting outcomes. This social shift is monumental, eclipsing even technological changes. For millennia, men and women have embraced marriage, but it seems to be fading within our lifetime. The traditional narrative of poor women marrying poor men has transformed. Now, women opt to stay single, anticipating a wealthy man will eventually marry them. In this evolving landscape, men find happiness in the newfound freedom to live their lives without the societal pressure to marry sparing them from daily marital woes. The impact of feminism on the broader pool of women is undeniable, reshaping long-standing relationship dynamics. That's all for today on Alpha Male. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications. You can support the channel by becoming a member or sending a super chat. Share your thoughts in the comments. See you tomorrow.